All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick this at the beginning of the video instead of at the end, just to um, just to show how everything wrapped up and how it ended early on um, before you even finish it. But just to put this in the context, all right, this is after a, a predetermined and uh, um, forced jump ball uh, uh, tug of war, right? So this is how the jump ball culminated. Now keep in mind, this guy right here is six foot one. You already know how this end, right? Pretty sure you already understand how this is going to end. This dude is six foot one. This motherfucker right here is six foot one. Look at this. And my man, uh, um, he's six eleven. Six eleven, dominant rebounder, dominant blocker, strong big man. Everything that you can want in a big man. This is what my guy is. He embodies it. All of that, right? Watch how this ends. Look at this. Jump ball. Ball goes up. Now, look at this. Why is my man not, not getting the ball? Why is he missing it? I'm right up there with it. Why am I missing it? This is the second jump ball this game that I lost to a smaller player that certainly should have been won, right? He misses it. He's up there. He's swinging at it, but he's missing it. Now, why is he missing it? Because what? That's the script. It's not that I'm doing something wrong. It's not that, that you know, uh, I got a, a bad player and he's, you know, incapable of doing this. It's not about that. It's about the game and what the game wants to happen. What the algorithm has already decided and enforced and posed on you. All right. It's about what the game is imposing, what it's enforcing on you is deciding something is going to happen and go down a certain way. So there's nothing much that you can really do about it. Right. And then, you know, it comes down and he gets his hand right on it. Right. My guy, he goes for a double jump. Where is he reaching to? What's over there? <laughs> like, what's over there? See what I'm saying? What's over there? There's nothing over there, but the game is already has its uh, a proverbial mind set on a particular outcome. This is not just free will basketball. You just play the best you can play. Uh, and, you know, it's a meritocracy. It's not about that. That is not what 2K is about. That is not how they created this game. It's an algorithm that's, that has a scripted, it's like a, play, a written play. It has a scripted outcome and you're in it, but you just have the ability to uh, to buck the narrative, right? And to, to try to defeat the narrative and overcome what the game has already set in motion to happen to you, right? They've already decided if you're going to lose the game or not before you even go into it. The algorithm had already determined what level it was going to be uh, um, controlling the game to right whatever notch it was going to be on some games you already know some games you just dominate and it feels real easy but some games you play and it's like it's like everything is going computer's way nothing is happening right for you right men are sliding all across the court doing whatever they want you missing easy rebounds you're getting dunked on by five foot one players with seven footers <laughs> like whoa What's going on? Because that particular game it was meant to go a certain way. You probably still want it, but you're supposed to have won it by a lot more than what you want it by because it was controlled. It was a controlled game, right? But anyway, peace. Or, you know, better yet, let's get into the other clip. I forgot I put this at the beginning. All right, so uh, this is game seven in the finals. All right, and... Man, the scripted gameplay, it just gets to be a bit too much, especially in the playoffs, but I noticed even more so in the finals, right? It's like it's like they don't let up. Like, they don't let up at all, right? But let's look at this real quick. All right. Now, in 2K, the, uh, the jump ball animation, right? It's uh, it's totally, it's totally scripted, and it's, it's you know you can't really avoid it. It's just the algorithm is arbitrarily saying, okay, 
here's a jump ball situation, turn around, put the ball in the computer's arm. That's basically what happens. But I like to talk about the um, the post up double team, right? When you're in a post with a, with a dominant post player and a double team is coming, a lot of times they will force you to uh, to uh, botch or you know to do something that's going to throw off your ability to get the pass off, right? Because what? You got an easy pass. If there's a double team on you, that means that there's another player open somewhere, especially if you're in a double team, uh, uh, you know, somewhere in the paint and you're getting you're getting double teamed by a guard. Somebody that's open at the three-point line. It's just automatic, right? So they know that you have an easy three. And a lot of times I notice what happens in these situations is that when a double team is coming, uh, they'll force your guy that's wide open at the three to move off the line and to come closer to a defender somewhere else on the court or to just follow their own defender. Like what my guy right here just did. But he's getting ready to go back out to the three. Now right here, uh, my man, I turned around to try to pass on the ball. Even though he came over here, I still could have got an open uh, a mid range or something. So I'm hitting the button, man, just like crazy. The whole time you see me picking the ball up over my head, turning around, pivoting, I'm trying to get the ball off. I've been trying to pass it since I seen the double team coming because I knew what it was. So I'm trying to pass the ball, man, just desperately trying to get the ball, trying to get it off. But the game had already locked me into a jump ball animation. All right, they already locked me into this, so there's nothing that I can do about it. I just have to allow them to, you know, grab the ball. And, and if you notice, when this happens, you can have your back turned away from them. They will force you to turn around and put the ball in computer's arm so that uh, a jump ball scenario can happen. That's exactly what happened right here, right? I could have easily just kept the ball over my head. He didn't He didn't go up to, he wasn't really fighting for it, right? If this is a jump ball situation, typically the, the, the defender has to come aggressively after the ball and fight you for it. But in 2K, because it's scripted, they make you put the ball in computer's stomach or put it right into their arms, right in their hands for the jump ball situation to play out. Right, they're making you submit to the double team. They're forcing you to uh, capitulate to what computer is doing to you. They don't allow you to just fight it off. Right, the double team, they lock you into the double team. All right, I've, I've seen many situations where I can see a double team coming. If I got a, a dominant score, a perimeter score, and I try to take off and run away from it, and the game will legit just make me stop running. Like legit, it would just make you stop running or you'll be running and it'll force you to go do like a lightweight jog away from the double team because they're trying to force you, uh, they're magnetizing you, they're drawing you into the double team so that you can't get away from it, right? And that's just so generic. It takes a lot of the rawness and a lot of the integrity out of the game. That raw factor of basketball, it doesn't really exist like that in 2K, Right? And they pulled this on me, the guy, he didn't even have his hand on the ball, right? He got one hand uh, uh, trying to touch the ball, and they still forced me to uh, give up to the uh, to the jump ball on the double team, right? <laughs> this is not basketball, right? This is not basketball. It's way too scripted. It's way too narrative-driven. And understand something. Those who program this game, they know exactly what they're doing. This is not accidental. They're too lazy to really program the AI to uh, uh, give you a more fleshed out uh, uh, basketball experience, right? In the form of a video game. They're too lazy to actually program the, uh, the AI correctly. So what they've done is they've engrafted an algorithm into the game to compensate for what the AI is lacking, right? To and to enforce narratives, to enforce a, a through line, to, to make things happen according to a system, according to a desired outcome. That's why you get all of these predetermined situations, these predetermined outcomes, these scripted scenarios where it's like something happens and it happens, but there's nothing that you could ever do about it because you were forced into certain positions, computers sliding around the court. Certain things are already scripted 
to play out a particular way in this game. And sometimes there's just no way of getting around it like this right here. There was no way of getting around it because I'm trying to pass the ball, but I'm locked right here is where I try to pass it. But the game at this moment, it had already locked me into a jump ball situation. It had already locked me into it. Even when you look at this guy right here, you can see him slide. Like, like he slides into my man's uh, torso, right? Because that's the animation triggering. It's triggered to happen, right? The algorithm right there decided jump ball situation. So now, even though I got the ball away and free to pass it, I'm not being allowed to pass it because I'm locked into a predetermined outcome already. If that makes sense to you, right? But anyway, peace.